What's going on guys, T Grand here. I'm here with my first deck list from Good Game Con from the past weekend. Uh, this is my Demon Handlock deck that I played. I got this list from Raynad who used it at um, the Fireside Gathering that Temple Storm was at. He tweeted it and it went under the radar I thought, so I thought it was a really strong pick. Um, overall this was probably my favorite deck in my lineup just because of its raw power. So. I'm going to show you the list and then talk a little bit about what I liked and didn't like. So two Mortal Coils, really strong against Hunter, Azu, all the, like the Aggro Paladin, it's strong against. Two Dark Bomb, very good against Patron. Three's the magic number right now. Uh, the Mage deck that plays Flame Waker, even like all their other minions have a lot of three health. Like Mana Worm, it's really good against Mech Variants, three health. Two Ancient Watcher, such a strong card, whether it's just a taunt. Or to combo with the Owl. Owl was really good in twos the whole weekend, obviously. Two Sun Fury Protector, pretty standard. Uh, you want to taunt all your big guys, uh, taunt your Void Callers. Two Big Game Hunter. I was expecting a lot of Mirror, and this card was good, but I really think I could have played something else because there was so much aggro at this event. One Hellfire. Um, I played two Shadow Flame over it because I expected a lot of Mirror, and in Patron, you usually have the time to set up a minion for Shadow Flame. Which is mainly why I was playing double Hellfire in the first place was for Patron, but I should have played two Hellfire for Aggro because you don't want to commit, let's say, a Watcher and a Shadow Flame because that's six mana, and against Aggro you don't have time. So one Defender of Argus, kind of wish I played two of this also, just because more Taunt is good against Aggro. Two Twilight Drake, two Void Caller. Uh, these cards, I keep Void Caller the way I would keep Twilight Drake usually, and it, it works out most of the time. You, you want, like, the reason I like this deck over standard handlock is it always has such a really strong play turn four. Like, the goal of this deck is do broken things turn four, and then have the mana to stabilize when they, like, deal with your big guys, but also play more broken guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, two heal bot for the heal. Uh, Dread Infernal. I like this card as a demon target. Uh, my teammates wanted to cut it for Siphon Soul. I believe Shadox actually did cut it for a Siphon Soul, and it worked out for him. Um... But I didn't want to play just two demon targets plus a second Void Caller. So Emperor Thorison, uh, most broken six drop in the game. This card is really, really too good. Uh, Jaraxxus. Jaraxxus was very clutch this weekend. I like this card now. I, didn't, I wasn't a big fan of it before. Malganus, uh, this card is broken. In top 16, one of the games I had, I was at Fatigue, but I had Malganus up, so I just lived forever. Two Mountain Giants and two Molten Giants. So the things... I would change. Uh, first off, I think this was my highest win percentage deck. Like every time I played this deck, I I won. I think uh, someone is definitely gonna correct me if I'm wrong. But this warlock is the strongest class. The only problem is it loses to hunter and other aggro variants sometimes. But mainly hunter, and there was so much hunter at Good Game Con. It was absurd. So to handle the aggro meta right now, I would cut a BGH, a Shadow Flame, and replace it with. Probably the second defender and the other Hellfire, which is the actually the original list. But even then, I feel like it should play more early game. Like I'd want to fit maybe Zombie Chows, but that's that's hard. I would maybe cut a defender and something else for some Zombie Chows. But yeah, I'm gonna play a couple games with this updated list and show you guys how the list works and how I would mulligan. Uh, it's the last day of the season, and I didn't end up hitting Legend. I kind of got busy towards the end of the month. But, you know, no excuses. I say that every month. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where I play a couple games with this deck. So, peace out.